Today, we are building a two-story autumn house in Bloxburg. So first, we're gonna tour and then we'll start building. So the total value is about 65-ish, $70,000. So today, we're gonna focus on building the exterior and then we'll decorate the interior in part two. And I am so excited, guys. I love this house. I am obsessed with it and I'm also obsessed with the interior. So I'm so excited for you guys to see both parts. The interior video link is in the description and the comments. So make sure you check there because I am so excited for you guys to see the interior build. But for now, let's focus on the exterior. So basically, I only used the advanced placement and multiple forest game pass. That's all you're gonna need for this house. You don't need the large plot or anything like that. And it's so spacious. Like you have so much room to expand on this house if you'd like to. Add your own touches. And you don't need the large plot game pass, which is so nice. And I think it's so affordable too. Like $65,000 for this. That's like a steal. And the exterior is only about $12,000. The interior is about $50,000. So the exterior is actually like so affordable. I was not expecting that myself. But hey, we're gonna take that. You know, we're gonna run with it. So this build has two bedrooms bedrooms and two bathrooms so we have one bathroom downstairs and then we have one bathroom upstairs we have two bedrooms upstairs we have the kitchen and the living room all down here with the dining room we even have a little pantry room and we have a walk-in closet for one of the bedrooms like this build is perfect for role plays it is so spacious it is so nice and perfect for autumn i love it now i'm so excited for you guys to see the interior i think i'm just gonna show you guys a sneak peek okay here's a peek at the kitchen that's it check back in the description and the comments for the video link to part two to see the rest of the interior and to decorate with me Oh my gosh, guys, it's gonna be so much fun. But today, the exterior is gonna be amazing on its own. So we'll tackle the first part of this build, the exterior. I'll walk you through the building process step by step with my voice. As always, you guys know the vibe. So let's start building it right now. So get comfy, get a snack, and let's start building this two story autumn house. So here is the layout. So this is the first floor, and the yellow lines represent the second floor. So this is what we're building today. We'll focus on the first floor first. So we're gonna need to grab the walls. Also, if you hear any background noise, it's my fan. I'm sorry, but I am really hot. I need this fan. I'm suffering. Okay, anyway, we're gonna start seven grids back from the sidewalk and we're gonna place two walls across like this to the right. So these walls are gonna be colored light stone gray and then we're gonna use the vertical planks material because I think that's so pretty. So the interior walls, I'm gonna color them all white for now. I usually use white a lot and then I'll like change up the textures as we go. So you can copy that wall once it's colored, you save money that way. And then we can place two walls back like this. And then from there, we'll place five walls to the right like this, except these walls, they're gonna have a different texture and color. So we're actually gonna color them mid gray. Not much of a difference, but mid gray is pretty. Then we're gonna use the overlapping panels, which is very realistic and pretty. So we can copy the overlapping panels wall, then place three walls down, one to the right, and now we're gonna switch back to the light stone gray walls, and we're going to place one down, two to the right, and then back up by one. So you see what we're doing here? We have the light stone gray walls being the frontal walls of the house, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna go back to the mid gray walls and we're gonna place one to the right. Now we can finish off with the mid gray or like the light stone gray, whichever one you'd like, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use the mid gray though. So we're gonna go back up by four place it down because this is going to be one room so i like to separate my walls by the rooms so that we can color them like different materials yeah so now we can go back up by four again and then back up by two then you can go to left by two to finish off the back of the house so we can go back up by one to left by three down by one to left by two down by one to left by four and then go down two four five times and then go down another three times and there we go so these are the first floor exterior walls but we have to turn on the roof because we have the layout up here so we could take the mid gray walls again we're only going to use this like once up here so as you can see we are going to place three walls in the center of the first floor wall so place three walls across like this directly on top of the first floor wall and then on each side you're going to go back up by one like this and now for the remainder of the exterior we will be using the light stone gray walls so we can finish off with these. So go to the right by one, go back up by one, to the right by one, and then to right by three because this is gonna be a bathroom. I'll go over the rooms in a second. Go back up by three, go back up by two, to left by two, back up by one, and then we're gonna go to left by three, down by one, to left by two, down by one, to left by four, and then down by four to the right by two down by one and to the right by one sorry that was a lot but 
I think it's gonna look nice. Yeah, so now we have the exterior walls placed. So you see these like gaps right here? These are gonna be filled in by roofs. Don't worry, it will look pretty normal. So let's go over the interior walls. I just wanna show you like my layout idea. So over here, we're gonna place two walls up. So this is going to be a master bedroom. So to the right by one and then back up by three. So the entrance is gonna be over here. So you're gonna walk up and then over here will be the bed. Maybe here will be like a dresser or a desk area. So this is gonna be the hallway. Stairs will be right here. We have two walls right here. To the right by one, down by one, to the right by one, to the right by one again, up by one, and up by two. This will be the second bedroom, probably like a kid's room, because over here we have two walls to the right. This is gonna be the little like walk-in kind of closet. I thought that would be kind of cool. And two walls down here for the bathroom. So this is the second floor bathroom. So we have two bedrooms, one bathroom so far, but we have one more bathroom downstairs, so we can go down here. The stairs will be placed over there. I'll show you those in a second. Over here is the bathroom. So we have two walls to the right, down by one, bathroom number one on the first floor. So over here where the stairs will be placed, we have three walls down, and then we have four walls down. So the stairs will be placed right here. I was thinking of using the recessed stairs. I'll place this once we start the interior though. And then over here is gonna be the living room. So this is the entrance area, kind of hallway thingy, stairs. Over here, this is gonna be the garage. So we have one wall up, and then four to the right like this. Nice garage, very spacious. So over here is gonna be the kitchen. So the kitchen, it's so spacious. And then we have like, five walls across like this and then up by two for the dining room and then this is gonna be a pantry i thought that was kind of like cool and different because i didn't know how else to place i'm gonna be honest so i was like oh let's do a pantry okay so we have on the first floor one bathroom living room entrance stairs dining room kitchen pantry and garage upstairs bedroom bedroom bathroom this is the indoor closet don't get that confused i just confused myself and hallway of course so yeah Pretty nice for a budget house, especially. So let's finish off the exterior. We've got to place a roof. We can't have it raining on us while we're eating like pizza. We're gonna have soggy, wet pizza. So we're gonna use the gable roof like almost the entire time. So each time we place the roof, we're gonna click on automatic placement so it turns to manual placement. So first off, we can start on the left side of the house because there's not much to do over here. We're gonna start on the first floor, by the way. We only have like two or three roofs on the first floor. So start on the left side on this bottom left corner. Then you can go to the right by two, then back up by four. To left by two like this and then what you could do is grab this arrow drag it inward so that this roof isn't like protruding through the wall too much there's also gonna be a window here so like you probably won't focus on it but you could raise it up a bit if you want to because it is cheaper so we're gonna color this roof dark stone gray and then we're gonna use the realistic looking roof shingles and then of course color the frontal wall color light stone gray with the same material and then i like to use white and concrete for my ceilings i feel like that's such a nice like combo so yeah Pretty nice. Copy that roof. We're going to use it again over here for the garage. So you can start at the bottom left corner again. This time, we're going to go to the right by four like this. We're going to ignore this area. This will have a different roof. So go back up two, four, five times. Place it here. Go to left by four. And there you go. But we do need to, like, once again, drag that roof inward a bit. Yeah, that's a pain. Like, I wish that we could, like, get that patched or something, but I don't know. I would not recommend increasing its size. It will be more expensive, so don't do that. So this is what we have so far. So now for the first floor, we're going to finish off with the slanted roof. This roof is so cool. I love this roof. So once again, we're on manual placement. We're going to fill in this little area right here. This is cute, I think. So start at the bottom left corner. Go to right by two. Up by one. And to left by two like this if you want to this is optional but i think it looks cool find the top arrow right over here and then drag it up a little bit and then place it down like that and this roof will be colored the same kind of nice right so we're gonna copy that slanted roof we're gonna place it over here in the center part of the house so we can start over here at this corner where this little wall is go to the right by five and place it down go back up by three and place it down go to left by one and place it down go down by one and place it down to left by three and place it down, up by one and place it down, and to left by one and place it down. You have to do it in that order so that it looks like this. Otherwise, it's gonna be like backwards or sideways. So I would honestly recommend just like placing it down. Don't bother adjusting it. Like it looks nice. It'll also work better because there's gonna be a window here. So that's it for the first floor roof. Isn't it nice? So we can go upstairs. We can take the gable roof with us because we're gonna use that like for the rest of the house. So manual placement again. Let's start at the front center wall right here. Place it down in the bottom left corner. Get to the right by three, place it down. Go back up two, four, six, seven times, place it down. To left by two, place it down in that corner, down by one, and to the left by one, 
like this. So we're covering like the center part of the house, which is nice. So I'm honestly gonna like increase it a bit because it's cheaper and we're on budget. So love to save that money. So I'm gonna copy that roof. We're gonna use it again. So we're basically gonna like finish off the rest of the roof with this. So let's go to the left side of the house, place it down in the bottom left corner. Then we're gonna basically place it in like each corner of the roof like this. I would turn the roof off so you can like see a bit better. Go to the right by two, place it down, go down by one, to the right by five, up by one, to the right by four, back up by four, and then all the way to the left across like this. So it should look like this. Oh my gosh, wait, why is that so expensive? That was not supposed to be expensive. Okay, it's 800 bucks. I feel like that's kind of expensive, but I guess it looks nice. So basically over here, we just have to like fill this in a bit, but this is like easy. So don't worry about this too much. Also, it's the back of the house. Like no one's gonna even like pay attention to that. So yeah, the front of the house is what matters and it looks pretty nice, right? Yes, I think the roof makes it look amazing, wonderful. We can start to place the windows now. Now. So we're gonna be using a few windows. We're gonna start off with this small sunset window on this left wall. Oh, it's so cute. It's gonna be colored white. And then I'm gonna give it like maybe an orange or a linen tint because I do wanna make this like a fall themed house, like a modern fall house. That's what I'm going for. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think we can do it though. So that's where that orange tint is coming from. Now I'm gonna grab like some plain shutters. So we're gonna color these shutters cloudy gray and white. I think cloudy gray is the perfect like fall color. It's like a light greenish gray. I think it's so pretty. So yeah, cute. Now I'm gonna copy this window and I'm gonna place one on this wall. But you know what else I was thinking of doing? I was thinking of placing two of these windows, but without the shutters. Like I am so indecisive, I cannot decide. I think for now, maybe we'll just leave it the way it is because it's cheaper. But like, I think both designs are really cute. Anyway, enough for these windows. We can move on to the bay window, which is of course, has to be one of the most expensive windows in game. But it looks really nice. So we're gonna color it white. Oh, it's already colored white. Okay, so we're gonna use like the orange tint and then we're gonna use dark stone gray, which it already is. And I was thinking of like the roof texture, like kind of match it, like that's cool. Maybe like some orange or yellow pillows. I like using some custom colors sometimes. If you wanna use it, you can. Totally unnecessary though. <laughs> so now we can go upstairs and place the rest of the windows. So we're gonna use the large factory window. That's gonna be placed on this big main wall and it's gonna be colored the same, of course. And it's also gonna have these shutters, very nice. And and then on the sides, these side walls are gonna have like the smaller windows. So the factory windows. And then you can give them shutters too, if you'd like to more detail. So one on the side and one on the side. It might be easier to place from the interior like this because this wall is a bit annoying. <laughs> but I do want to place like two of them over here. But I think it looks nice either way. So now we can place the doors. So let's do the front door first and then we'll go to the garage, which is gonna be over here. Kind of cool side garage thing. So how about we use a traditional door? This one is like pretty affordable. It's also really nice and it's like pretty detailed i think it's cool so you do white we can do the cloudy gray and then yeah that's pretty much it nice colors we have very like subtle autumn colors i like them so let's go work on the garage over here so we're gonna go to this like sidewall we could choose like any door um the traditional garage door though like matches the front door so that's kind of cool this garage is like so spacious so you could just color it like the same basically it looks nice yes yeah, so that's pretty much it so all the windows the doors are placed yes but we could definitely make it a bit more organized you know we can kind of like tidy it up a bit so we can grab some wall trim now i love to use the flat crown molding at the tops of the walls like this each wall can have this even the sides too especially if you're gonna like role play Maybe if you want to like build a backyard or something, but you don't have to. It's totally up to you. And then I also wanted to use the short rail molding and I think I'll color it the cloudy gray and then white with bricks. That is such a nice combo. I love these colors actually. And yeah, we can place them on each wall on the first floor. I don't think we'll place them like on the second floor because you really can't see them. But if you do place them around like the exterior, like the back of the exterior, then you can place them on like both levels. It's up to you though. I am going to save money and maybe skip that part for now but i like it so far oh we could also grab pillars you guys want to place pillars i feel like pillars would look nice yeah wait what if we do like white pillars 
the plain pillars maybe we'll just like skip them on this frontal wall though i think it looks cool this way so we can place them in like each corner of the house and then as we go and decorate the interior we can place the rest of them because like it's kind of hard to place right now but we'll obviously place them once we like start working on the interior i'll just place one over here for the garage and then yeah we'll do the rest once we start working the interior i think it'll be easier that way so half the house with pillars so just know we're gonna place more pillars don't worry i mean it looks fine without them though it looks kind of nice but let's finish off the exterior then we can finish the pillars and decorate so fun so i want to use the natural door wall lamps i want to get some lighting out here you know we need some light when it's dark out autumn it gets really dark like early so you want some light when you're driving right so we're probably going to use some like orange lighting today it makes sense for a fall themed house so i want to place one at the top of like each roof basically so we could place them like right at the top where the roof like peaks at you know like up here <laughs> that's kind of cool oh we could also place one like right by the door that's kind of nice i see that a lot in real life so i'll probably use these two colors a lot for my lighting so that should be enough lighting i do want to do one more thing to the roof though i want to add some vents so these are just like really nice decoration to make the house feel and look more realistic if you just color them white and then place them at the tops in like the center of the roofs like this and then sometimes you can layer them like place two on the bigger roofs and then it looks like they're bigger vents you know it's kind of cool you could even go to structural this is extra but if you want to grab the plank and then you could just kind of make your own shutters you can make this look like it's a window i mean okay it's kind of obvious it's not a window but like we can like pretend guys you know blocksburg you role playing blocksburg it's all about pretending using your imagination so let's do that okay oh it's kind of nice though i think i'll just do it over here though i think this is good enough for the rest of the roofs yeah so pretty nice oh wait one more thing one more thing i keep remembering things that i forgot to add in the first place but i want to use a chimney so why not place a chimney this is definitely like a necessity for fall homes typically we have like fireplaces you know hanging by the fireplace so i'm gonna try to remember to add one in the living room can't make any promises though i'm always forgetting things in my builds <laughs> excited to decorate but first we need to place the floor and we need to decorate and landscape a bit out here so we're gonna place a really easy wall walkway and then a driveway over here so we're gonna take the floor of course and i'm just gonna basically place the floor directly beneath this roof so right where the bay window is this is gonna be like our little patio front porch and i'm gonna color it mid gray and i'm gonna use one of my favorite materials the painted brick wall material love this texture it's so pretty and then i'm just gonna do a basic walkway two grids wide leading up to the door and then we could copy that floor and then we could do our really easy driveway. So make it as wide as you need to. I'll probably do like three for now, but if you need to obviously make it like more, if you don't trust yourself, you think you're gonna crash. Yeah, you have enough room over here. So let's go back up two, four, six, eight, ten 10 grids. As always, you could go as far as you need. And then I'll go to the right by three and then all the way down. You could even do like a curvy thingy if you want to like this. I think I'll just do like the basic driveway. There we go very nice looking cool oh i like this okay so let's just decorate the yard a bit let's grab some like grass some plants some pumpkins um yes we're definitely gonna be placing pumpkins pumpkins mushrooms trees whatever else you see in a house in a yard i mean you don't see full-grown trees in homes oh we have this like fern bush okay that's cool this is like the best thing we got in the update in my opinion oops how about some pumpkins would it be weird to just like place pumpkins like randomly throughout your yard like just like sporadic pumpkins like i don't know i feel like that's kind of weird but like also it's blocksburg i can do what i want in blocksburg in real life my pumpkins would probably be stolen by my neighbors um i have questionable neighbors or they'd be eaten by deer so i can't really do that in real life but blocks where i can live out my dreams and i can place pumpkins wherever i desire i should just go to a pumpkin patch honestly if i'm this amused by pumpkins actually that's cute you know what this makes it feel more like fall so i think we're definitely doing the right thing also baby pumpkins are adorable we could also just do like regular plants like the regular compact bush we don't just have to do like pumpkins everywhere we can change it up a bit but i also think we should place a tree like right here so i was thinking one of those smaller trees like this stack tree or the rough cypress and then we could just color it like a darker shade of green because this is kind of when like the trees are dying you know not dying or actually i think they are dying they're losing their leaves their colors are changing they're orange and yellow they're so pretty so i feel like that makes sense also you could place some mushrooms i did this in my recent fall build maybe i placed too many i think it's okay though it's an excuse to place mushrooms everywhere you do have mushrooms growing in fall can you place a sunflower they're so pretty i love some 
some flowers. They're definitely fall flowers. I have an excuse to place them. I think I'm placing maybe too many plants. Maybe I should uh try to not spend all my money on the exterior. I'm gonna add one more thing, which is gonna be the plain short fence, just like outlining the sidewalk, the patio, and then the driveway, just to kind of like tidy this area up a bit. That's pretty much it though. We don't really need anything else. No more pumpkins. Wait, okay, wait, maybe one more <laughs> by the door. This is kind of cute. No, 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 people do this in real life. Like this is actually valid, okay? People do this, a pumpkin and a baby pumpkin. That's it, that's it, I promise, I promise. Okay, no more pumpkins. Actually, maybe we'll place one more tree. I'm sorry, <laughs> I keep doing this. Let me just place one tree over here. Is that a butterfly? I am trying to find like rare butterflies. <gasps> that is, is that rare? I want the legendary like yellow one. I think I have that, I think it's common. I only have like four. <laughs> So clearly I'm doing a terrible job at butterfly hunting. The exterior is finished. I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm obsessed with it. This is definitely one of my favorite autumn builds. Make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comments and also check back for the interior video, which will be in the description and the comments. It is definitely one of my favorite interiors. You guys are gonna love it. So be sure to check back. We'll tour in that video and then we'll decorate. So it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you did like this video, make sure to subscribe because I upload so many house build tutorials just like this each week and i have so many more fall builds coming out and you'll know when the interior comes out so you won't miss that either so i'll see you guys in part two love you guys bye